Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to go over the Wind Archer 5th job skills. Howling Gale and Merciless Winds. So, Howling Gale is kind of... not even kind of, it, it's... it's another one where you have to wait for it to recharge itself, but that also makes it so that it doesn't have a very long cooldown. So, there's something called Wind Energy, which you get every 20 seconds, and you can hold up to two of them. Um, so, you know, 40 seconds after you use the skill, if you want to use the big version of the skill, then, uh, yeah, it's only 40 second cooldown. Otherwise, there's a smaller version of the skill that you can get every 20 seconds. So, anyway, let me go ahead and explain what it does. So when you use it, you fire a giant tornado. And this tornado will go around the map searching for an enemy to hit. Um, that is the big version of it. And then if I wait 20 seconds, um, you can actually see that the... Uh, down here, there's like a gray bar that's going down on the uh, little icon and that'll tell you when you have when you have until uh, how long you have to wait until you get the next um, wind energy so if I use it now I'll get the small tornado and I believe that one actually has a better time searching for enemies like it'll actually go left and right looking for enemies but the big one pretty much just goes straight but it hits more but anyway so when you consume only one wind energy, it hits up to 10 enemies with, you know, a little bit of damage, attacking three times for 10 seconds. However, if you consume two wind energy, which means, you know, you wait the full uh, 40 seconds, then you'll get a giant tornado, which I showed earlier, that hits 15 enemies with a lot more damage, but still only three times, and also for 10 seconds. The great thing about this skill, aside from not getting you killed with damage reflect, is that it'll activate Trifling Wind, which is, you know, your pretty much final attack. And that is really good, uh, this skill right here. It's really good for that. So it'll add on to your um, bossing. And again, it's also good for mobbing. Next we have Merciless Winds, which allows you to summon these little, like, extra arrows. I believe you have ten of them. Yeah, ten of them. That uh, go around seeking an enemy to hit. And each one does three lines of damage, and it says if more than one of them strike the same enemy, the final damage for each additional arrow is reduced by 25%. So I guess the first arrow that hits the enemy will do, um, at level 1, will do 520% damage, and then the next one that hits that same enemy will have its damage reduced by 25 uh, final damage, and then next one, another 25, or... That, that's probably how it goes. But anyway. Um, this... I mean... I don't really take the time to... You know, use it every time it's off, off cooldown, which is only 10 seconds. But... I use it not only for mobbing, but when I'm bossing, if I have to jump over an attack, I usually um, jump and then use the skill. So let's say I was fighting Von Leon. Well, I'm probably going to do Von Leon later. But let's say I'm fighting Von Leon. He does his eye lasers, jump over it, and then summon the um, things. And they'll stay out, actually, for 10 seconds before they disappear. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I guess, do... Um, well, okay, I'll show mobbing and then I'll go to bossing. So here we go. This is the uh, big version of the Gale. And as you can see, it is activating Trifling Wind. It also hits a very large portion of the map. And then here's the other skill, which will go around seeking enemies to hit. So once again, great skills. I really enjoy them. And now I just want to show the, uh, the small tornado. There we go. So there's a small one. Looks like it's just going to keep going straight. I know sometimes it'll go left and right looking for enemies to fight. Yeah, like that. Now it's going left. But, um... I don't know. The big one is worth it. It's definitely worth it for the extra damage. So anyway, let's go bossing. So the great thing about both of the skills is the short cooldown. 
So normally, when I do dojo, um, if I'm a wind archer, I usually just summon the uh, second fifth job skill, as long as it's off cooldown, and then just wait by the portal. Because they'll actually just seek out enemies in the map. And then I just wait by the portal and move on. Alright, so I'm going to skip to Von Leon, unless I have something else important to say. Alright, so here we are at Von Leon. Sorry if these, uh, this video is a little more quiet than the others. But, um... Yeah, it is very late right now. And I don't want to wake anybody up. So... Wait, why did that skill not come out? There we go. So yeah. Um, I don't usually summon the skill, but... It's alright. Like, the main times that I use this skill is when I have to stop using Hurricane, or... I'm fighting a boss like Lucid in second phase that, like, flies around a lot, so I can't really always hit her. Of course, I've never actually done it on a Wind Archer, I'm just saying that I've been in a party with a Wind Archer and that's what they seem to do, so... Of course, that would be the best idea, since they can stay around until an enemy goes near them. So, um, yeah, that is the fifth job skills for Wind Archer. They're both wonderful skills, and they both are on very short cooldowns. One of them is only 10 seconds, which is the second fifth job skill. The reason I call it second is because the one that you have to actually earn. And then um, the other one, which is only 20 seconds if you're going to use a small tornado, or 40 seconds if you're going to use a big tornado. Both very short cooldowns. Um, and of course, Howling Gale is the first skill that you get when you first become fifth job. But um, yeah, that'll be it. Thank you for watching. And yeah, once again, thanks for all the support. Bye-bye.